clear after the uh, last session of 24 that Javier Lasso Mendoza was prepared to meet with us. And I was therefore uh, looking forward to the opportunity of seeing him face to face. I asked for the meeting, he agreed. And today we've had an hour and a half of very frank and open discussions in a very cordial atmosphere. And how do you think that meeting has gone? Uh, what issues have been raised? Well, I think it's gone very well. We've talked about all the issues are relevant to the Committee of 24 when analysing the status of a territory that is uh, still on its list. We've looked at all of the issues that we looked at more intensely in each of the uh, opportunities I've had to address the committee, but obviously over the table, being able to understand each other and in a different and more cordial atmosphere than is perhaps possible when you are literally just doing set piece speeches one to the other. And what was the chairman's reaction to these issues that you've highlighted? Well, obviously, look, the meeting was a private meeting. I'm not going to share with you all of the views that he expressed to me because uh, I think it's important that he should feel free to speak openly during the course of that meeting. What I will say is that it's been very clear to me that some of the things that uh, I have said in the committee in the past and that uh, my colleague, Mr. Bosano, has said in the seminars and indeed when he used to address the committee in the past are getting through to the committee. We are making people stand up and listen to what we're saying. And I think you've seen that in the reactions of Mr. Mendoza himself during the course of the committee hearings on Gibraltar. And we've certainly appreciated that in the discussions we have with him today. Would you say this meeting with the chairman has strengthened the ROC's relationship with the United Nations Special Committee? I think the meeting has certainly strengthened the position of Gibraltar. The position of Gibraltar is going to be better understood by the committee. Remember that the meeting is with the chairman, but really it is in representation of the whole committee. So what we have said today will be uh, translated into a note which will be circulated to all of the committee members. And therefore, the, the position of Gibraltar will be better understood by all of the people who make up the committee of 24. And prior to today's meeting, you did offer the chairman a first class ticket to Gibraltar. Do you think he might take you up on that offer in the future? Well, it's very clear that uh, one of the things I've obviously put to him is that the invitation is still on the table. Um, it, I don't think it's like we're going to see him quite this national day. Uh, but I've also, of course, left two copies of the 2006 Constitution, making again the argument that it's up to the committee to put to us whether that Constitution fails in any way to take us to the maximum possible level of self-government short of independence, which is what we need to achieve for the fourth option to be engaged in. Okay.